Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and today we're gonna talk about Deadlock Protocol and all its fantastic features. First off, we got the corpus maps, models, and story lore which have been completely overhauled, graphically updated, and expanded. Plus the new game mode, Granum Void. Then we have a brand spanking new Warframe in the form of Protea, a flexible support frame with some remarkable capabilities. And that's not all. But before we go any further, in the interest of full disclosure and all whatnot, this video is requested and sponsored by Digital Extremes. And with that out of the way, let's jump right into it. First things first, how do you get the brand new Protea Warframe? And there's two options here. You can either play through the storyline in Deadlock Protocol and farm the blueprints by playing Granum Void, or if you don't have the time or the patience and just want to try out the brand new Warframe, you can purchase it from the in-game shop. Now personally, I found it more enjoyable to play through the story of Deadlock Protocol. I'm not gonna spoil any of the story, but the Corpus are facing an internal power struggle and Nefanio is trying to scheme his way to the top, basically what he always tries to do. Now, how do you start Deadlock Protocol? It's important to understand there are two major prerequisites. Low prerequisites, but still, you're gonna be needing Mastery Rank of 4, yes, only 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and the Vox Solaris quest completed. So as you can see, the content is made, made available to you very early on. So in case you haven't tried Warframe up until now, everything that you see right here is 100% free. You can download Warframe and start playing today. Use the code LASER-DLP, that is LASER-DLP, to get the commemorative Deadlock Protocol glyph for free. Allow me to show you how that one works. You scroll down over here, you hit redeem code, I actually have not redeemed it. So it's like this. Don't worry, all this info is also in the description down below for your ease of use. Thank you for redeeming your code. Now, in order to actually use the glyph, you go escape. Then you go to profile, then you go to glyph. And you're gonna see the name of the glyph is the founding father glyph. Now, this one is 100% free until the 28th of June, my friends. Now, if you want an additional glyph for free, this fantastic glyph, Laser Gaming Views glyph, my friends, also in the description down below. There you go, two free glyphs for you. Now, let's start that deadlock protocol and talk exactly what you need to do. Normally, when you head on over to your navigation in the quest section over here, you're gonna have yourself the deadlock protocol starting quest. But basically what it does by accessing that link over there is just send you over here to the codex and you can simply start it from here if you wanna skip a step. Deadlock protocol. Now, during the deadlock protocol, you're gonna face a couple of different missions. Allow me to show you exactly what you're gonna be up against. The missions are fairly low level and should not pose a challenge to most players. The enemies you will meet are around level 10, 15, something like that, so you don't require any special warframes or any special weapons. I'd recommend you just sit back, relax and enjoy the lore. You will have to defeat one super low level interception with only two control points, so you don't need a specter. Basically any warframe will do. You simply run from one point to the other, there are not a lot of enemies and of course you will have to do this one 100% solo. After that, you're gonna have to complete a short mobile defense. Again, you can do this with any Warframe. The enemies do not deal a whole lot of damage. And I simply did it with a level 10 Protea, which had three mods on her. So there you go. I would recommend the Frost. In case you are having any sort of difficulties, just grab all Frosty or a friend who has Frost. Any crowd control frame will do great in a mobile defense for the most part. Now the last one is a spy mission. It's important to note that the tile set has been completely redone as you can see, but the way you solve or complete the spy mission is in the exact same way as before. Actually, it's a bit more easier because you got more room to play with now. But in case you're newer to Warframe and having trouble in solving the spy mission, click the link in the cards right now to see how to easily complete it. If you got this far, it means you already got a taste of the Granum Void game mode. But how does it actually work anyway? First off, Granum Void missions can be started from any Corpus ship mission by walking up to any Golden Hand altar and inserting a Granum Crown. Granum Crown, you say? <laughs> what are those? Well, these will be dropped by Corpus treasures, which will be present in the same Corpus ship missions. So essentially, start a Corpus ship mission, Take out the treasure, pick up his Granon Crown or coin and offer it at the Golden Hand Altar. Simple enough, right? But different level missions will produce different level treasures and in turn different tiers of Granum Crowns. There are three tiers that you need to be aware of. The base version which is between level 0 and 15, 
Exemplar, which is between level 16 and 30, and finally Zenith, which only drops from level 31 plus. Why should I care about the tiers? Well, the tier of the Grand Crown used to start the Grand Void mission will control the level of enemies you will have to defeat and the loot table you have access to. The higher the tier, the tougher the enemies, the better the rewards. There are a few more details which I do want to make you aware of. Let's talk about loot, my friends, the all-important loot table. But please bear in mind that these numbers are subject to change. Let's say you want something like the Protea Chassis Blueprint. This one is obtained from Tier 2 Grand and Void. So we're gonna need Exemplar Crowns and the Chassis drops from Rotation C. In which case we're gonna have to take out at least 75 of the enemies to get a shot at that blueprint. More specifically, an 11.11% shot at it. It basically works like this. From 25 to 49 takedowns, you get a reward from Rotation A. From 50 to 74 takedowns, you get one reward from Rotation A plus one reward from Rotation B. And finally, for uh, 75 plus takedowns, you're going to be getting one reward from each of the tiers, totaling free, which will be revealed to you upon extraction. When you're doing Grand and Void, the main issue is time, right? There are two ways to basically increase your time. First off, what you can do is essentially get these little pyramid looking things that do drop from enemies. You're gonna be getting yourself 5 seconds for that. And the second way is to release uh, the captured Voxolaris members and send them back to Fortuna. And that will get you a whopping 20 seconds. Now, the way you do that is with this very special melee weapon, my friends. And you might say, hey, I don't have this melee weapon and all what not but there's good news you get it basically for free the sorties while playing the event while playing deadlock protocol so no issues whatsoever there and i think that's pretty much it to grant and void let's talk about the jackal shall we alongside the corpus style said the jackal encounter has been completely revamped now, in order to defeat the brand new Jackal, you gotta damage down one of his limbs, then hide or dodge the orange lasers. And you can do so in a number of different ways. You can simply hide behind a pillar and you're done. Or you can hover in the air with something like a Zephyr, or you can do what I do. Stand perfectly still with Revenant and Mesmer Skin. Bear in mind that the Jackal now drops blueprints for two new weapons. The Stalta Rifle and the Strofa Gunblade. And that's pretty much it to the new Jackal. And now, since you know how to farm it, let's talk about the brand new Warframe, Protea. From what I played so far, she definitely is a very interesting Warframe, and I believe she will cater more to players who enjoy a supporty or support-like Warframe. She's not that hard to farm, honestly she's not, so by all intents and purposes, my friends, give her a spin. One thing to note, you will be needing some Railjack resources to complete her components. As for my humble two cents on the matter, I have the following rule always had. If it can't deal damage, then I'm not really all that interested in it. Thankfully, Protea can pack one hell of a punch using her second ability, Blaze Turret. Essentially, you just point it in the right direction and watch everything get melted down. Absolutely fantastic. And you can also spam it. Essentially, the limit is your energy. Now, what I'm about to show you is work in progress. It needs more forma, please try not to judge too harshly. But essentially, what I try to do is get the most out of her second ability, Blaze Artillery, the turrets, which are absolutely phenomenal. Check this one out, guys. They deal heat damage by default. Now, I would have loved a bit more control over the element that deals damage, but heat is fantastic right now in Warframe, basically is the most powerful single elemental you can get ever since Mainline 2020. This one stacks on top of itself, so it can get really crazy amounts of damage if you manage to stack it high enough. Also, it removes some armor, so that will deal with Corrupted Heavy Goons uh, or Bombards and so on and so forth. I build a whole lot of duration and a whole lot of power strength. Power strength means more damage, duration will be meaning more plasma ammo and therefore a little bit more duration on the turrets as well. But again, this is work in progress. More details some other time, my friends, definitely some other time. And with that, I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching, like, favorite, share and subscribe if you enjoy the content and if you got any sorts of feedback for me, by all means, drop it in the comment section down below. By the way, Stalta and Velox full reviews coming soon-ish. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.